News 9, the Kenya Power is set to embark on a nationwide replacement of over 660 faulty transformers, as well as the reinforcement of the distribution network as the government moves to stabilize the electricity supply network and keep pace with rising demand. The 4.3 billion shilling initiative is part of a broader effort to modernize the national grid and reduce commercial losses linked to system inefficiencies. Wamboi Wangoi has the details. Kenya Power is set to undertake a major overhaul of its distribution network with plans to replace at least 660 faulty transformers. The project, which will cost the utility over 4.3 billion shillings, is aimed at boosting grid stability amid rising demand for electricity across the country. Energy Principal Secretary Alex Washira says the country's electricity demand is growing by nearly 10% each year driven by new connections and rising consumption from existing users. One of the reasons why we see transformers uh, failing is increased cases of uh, illegal connection. There are certain regions in this country, I do not want to name them here, but we have increased cases of illegal connection. And so therefore, you will find a transformer that is rated at 100 kVA, for example, is carrying a road of 130, 140. And so therefore, because it's a machine, it has to give so one of the things that we ask in Kenyans is, please, uh, let's avoid uh, the illegal connections. Besides replacing the faulty transformers, Kenya Power will also undertake reinforcement of the distribution grid. This will include installing higher capacity transformers, upgrading key distribution lines, and introducing redundancy in critical sections of the network to improve resilience. I'm sure you have also seen that uh, in terms of power reliability, uh, because of clearing wave leaves, uh, nowadays the blackouts are not as often as they were. Even with heavy rains, they are not as uh, uh, often. It's because of this uh, continuous investment in the, in the, in the, in, in the uh, transmission and distribution system. The PS was speaking in Nyeri County while assessing the progress of the last mile connectivity project in Lot 7, which spans counties including Nyeri, Meru, Laikipi, and Nyandarua. The project is set to connect over 305,000 households to the grid by the close of the financial year 2025-2026. It is funded by the French Development Agency at a cost of 23.6 billion shillings. Wamboi Wangoi, Citizen TV.